Hello, National University Academy Economics students. This is Mr. Goyette. Um, we're starting off with Unit 1 here uh, in our first week of class. You've started your discussions on Unit 1, and we've focused in on Chapters 1 and 2 thus far. I'm going to go over some vocabulary with you tonight. First, I'm going to open up with the introduction, just read for you a few paragraphs that kind of set the tone for our discussion tonight and give you some idea of what we're going to do or, or what I'll be looking for uh, that you'll need to recall for the quiz uh, at the end of Unit 1 that you'll be finishing this week. Um, let's begin with uh, just an introduction here. I'm going to read that to you. Section 1, Chapter 1, An ec Economic Way of Thinking. How do you decide what food to eat, what clothes to wear, and what movies to see? A study of choices that people make to satisfy their needs and wants is called economics. A person who studies these economic choices is called an economist. Economists generally classify economic actions into two categories, microeconomics and macroeconomics. Microeconomics is the study of choices made by economic actors, such as households, companies, and individual markets. Although the term micro means small, microeconomics can focus on large participants in the economy. For example, the production at one company, even one as large as ExxonMobil, a corporation whose total um, output exceeds that of some nations, is considered a microeconomic topic because only a single economic actor is involved. Macroeconomics, on the other hand, exemplifies the behavior of entire economies. For example, unemployment in the United States is a macroeconomic topic. What can you learn from economics? By examining the economic choices you make, you can take advantage of the opportunities available to you from choosing whether to eat lunch, to deciding whether to go to college, from buying a pair of jeans, or choosing a career. The first step in examining the economic choices you make is to develop an economic way of thinking. As you will see, you already understand many economic concepts, even if you think economics as an unfamiliar subject, whether you realize it or not, you take economic action every day. Now you must expand your understanding of economic thinking. Um, I will take issue with one thing here. There was some mention of whether to go to college. Um, it's not whether to go, it's to what college you want to go to. That's your economic choice. Um, there's no whether to go to college. Of course you're going to college. It's ludicrous. Um, uh, if, let's see. I was going to do some um, review with you, get you ready for the quiz here. And uh, So that was a little introduction to the text. Um, and... Let's get right into our key vocabulary. Let me point those out to you. So I'm going to pick you up for a moment here. Bring you over to the board if you can see these topics. We got economics unit one, uh, capital goods, opportunity cost, utility, mixed economy, market economy, scarcity, command economy, self interest, communism, free enterprise, and entrepreneur. Put your back here for a second. Whoop. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop here because I'm gonna take the video in two parts. And what I don't want to do is make a video that I can't upload to um, YouTube because it only they only take about 10 minute blurbs there. So I'm gonna stop here. I'll be right back. So this this video will come in two segments. Stopping for now.